Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aries, how you come into the reading is Oracle. Okay, um, it says... Um, wait for important information okay wait for important information so it, it looks as if you need to see beyond what is right before you okay um this is also um this could be like a trusted friend that comes to you and tells you the hard cold hard truth but it's out of love it's not out of to tear you down and to laugh or anything of that nature but it's somebody who can really help you get firm and where you stand in anything, especially uh, in relationships. Um, this card sometimes indicates like the psych, the psychic uh, priestess of um, of Greece, the Oracle of Delphi. She was able to predict the future. Um, this card talks about maybe um, angels, ancestors in the universe speaking to you at this time. It's not for you just to jump out there and make a decision on your own, but rest in meditation. Listen to your intuition. Slow yourself down. Aries is a sign of action, of, um, you know, reaction, of, uh, you know, uh, the fight, uh, war. Um, you take action. You have an idea. You move on it. But you might have to slow it down this time and wait for instruction or at least wait for information so that you can make a clear, concise decision, okay? Um, for some of you, this could be in regards to opportunity. Opportunity, you fill in the blank for love, job, whatever. Um, someone could have a conversation, conversation with you and they could be very outspoken in how they speak to you or this just could even be the universe speaking to you very directly and letting you know where you stand in terms of, of a specific situation that you're asking about. So go before the universe, go before God, whatever it is you believe in spirit and speak to them and ask specific questions so that you can get specific answer. Um, don't be general, don't be vague. Uh, it says ask and, uh, or seek and you shall find. Uh, you have not because you ask not. So I'm going to get really clear. Uh, it, for some of you, this could be career, okay? And it could be love for some of you, but definitely a lot of career cards because next, what you have coming up is um, you have uh, the new moon in Capricorn. Capricorn is a very ambitious sign. They make things happen, okay? Uh, whatever it is they want in terms of definitely money, prestige, fame, notoriety, they go after it, you know? Um, it says that your hard work is paying off, so that's very good. Um, it's, it's telling you here in this card that hard work will make your dreams come true. This card is a very good card for studying and uh, teaching, maybe even. It's a good omen. Um, it also says some of you, you need to be a little bit more disciplined to reach your goal. Um, don't be too controlling and don't let anyone else control you. Um, it talks about newness coming in or a new start professionally. That's why I was getting career. Um, whatever is going on in your life right now, it's about um, a new and improved work cycle. If you're unhappy in some current position, some job, then it's it says with Capricorn being an ambitious sign, go after it, make something happen, move, make a move, um, ask for that raise, ask for that position, or ask why you haven't been, um, you know, acknowledged or at least uh, considered for open position. It also talks about with the new moon being in Capricorn, that, that comes at typically the end of the year. Um, it talks about making long-term uh, plans. It says make a plan and execute it well. That's what a Capricorn would do, right? It talks about taking the long view, 12 months out, five years out. So it's, it's about not just um, for now, next six months, but it's it's um, the long view here. Um, 
Why? It's because you have some dreams. You have some hopes, some wishes. It looks like some of you go to use spirit to help you bring in a lot of abundance or at least your dreams, your hopes, and your wishes. Distant horizons. It talks about spirituality. It talks about your dreams, your hopes, and your wishes here. It talks about the fulfillment of such. It also talks about fantasy. You know, fantasy could happen when you are too dreamy, not enough action happening. So some of you need to do a little bit more work to see your dream come true. It talks about um, also the silver lining. Okay. Things can get very uh, good for you or things can go well for you. The timing around this is summertime. Uh, summer in the States is coming up for uh, us here. Um, this also talks about the discovery of spirituality and just new adventures and how it can help you just really um, heighten your awareness, your senses, and also your manifestation abilities. So some of you are going to get with some spiritual practice, learn, study, and it's going to help you to unlock. Okay, so that's very good. You're going to start to unlock all these different, um, I don't know, you're going to unlock some different uh, parts of the brain. That can help you manifest even quicker. You may even learn something. Tai Chi, yoga, Kundalini yoga. I don't know. Whatever is going on for here for you here, it says be assertive. So this says just be confident. Again, take action. Don't wait for anyone to come in and um, you know, do it for you. Not that you would, but don't wait for anyone to see you, put a spotlight on you, and just say it's you. You know. Um, put your needs first also and don't apologize for them okay um, it says tailor your actions to what it is you really want um, it says again take action you know uh, take matters into your own hands be clear about your personal feelings self confidence also and ask for what you need we talked about that you have not because you ask not um and ask for it without watering down your request in order to satisfy other people. Just be assertive. Take action. Everything will fall in line. And if it doesn't, it'll fall away. And maybe that's what was supposed to happen. Let's pull some tarot to see um, what's coming in for you where you are. Um, let's see here. All right. Three cards from the. Okay. Wow. The four of wands. That's an Aries card there. Um. So. A successful completion of a project, getting what you want, promotion, landing a big contract, reunion, reconciliation, um, feeling so great, so good on top of the world, maybe even a new home, redecorating, remodeling. This could be a circle of a friends, a, cir a new friend, a circle. This talks about women, you know, a circle of women, maybe that you hang around, you're with, um, you feel at home with them. This also talks about uh feeling good so that you want to take loved ones out you want to share the wealth or just share the wealth of good vibrations it's a really good card it talks about the twin flame 11 11 you could be finding a love here let's see what else is going on for aries the ten of swords tough time is over don't be afraid of this card because the tens talks about completion the fullness of the thing no more can happen no less right uh, if this candle is full, you know, we can't pour any more wax into it. It's full. We can start to scoop out, but that could be very, you know, cumbersome. Like it just wouldn't make sense, but we definitely can't get any more. Can't get any more bad. Um, maybe a tough time in your life, a tough time in love, a tough time just all together is over. Something has failed collapse or it is collapsing let it go it could be around a masculine energy it could be man or it could just be a masculine energy maybe you're letting that masculine frame if you're a, a female you're letting it drop you're letting it fall because the four of wands is a very feminine card there uh, the ten of swords also talks about the inability to cope there could be some man who here who just can't cope with the fact that it is done it is over it is no more. It could have something to do with um, the legal system, justice, divorce, separation, doing what's best for you, uh, the right thing, maybe even apology, getting on the right path here. 
It also talks about karma and a decision needing to be made. One that's going to be fair, just uh, for all involved. You may not like it, but it's fair and it's just, right? Um, it just looks like, uh, Aries, you're doing something that's best for you, okay? Um, you're not really concerned about appeasing or, yeah, yielding. Um, and if something is being completely feasible for another party. So appeasing and feasible. Hmm. Getting things back in balance also. This could be paying off debt, debt repaid. Also, maybe you went through some karma and the universe is telling you, look, you you paid your debt to uh, your karmic debt here. It's over. It's done. You don't have to feel bad about it anymore, whatever it may be. Or you don't have to feel bad about this person, even if they feel blindsided, back, stabbed in the back and all of that. You can walk away knowing that you did your best and you're doing what's fair and just for all involved and be assertive in whatever decision you make. This is what I have for you, Aries. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website book there. Ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Aries. Many blessings to you. Take care.